Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead. How y'all doing? Well, today I'm going to show you a repair done a couple days ago. Uh, my washing machine, well, it actually is Tasha's washing machine. <laughs> but anyway, it's my job to take care of these problems when they tear up. But uh, it was what it was doing on the spinning cycle. The tub, it would uh, get out of balance and it would start hitting the back of the washing the washer and the sides of it and it just sit there and vibrate back and forth real bad banging like somebody's you know just hitting the wall real hard and um, wasn't really sure what was going on and I called appliance uh, parts place um, close by and they told us what it sounded like and so I ordered the parts uh, off eBay and uh, got them in put them in and it fixed the problem so I want to share with y'all exactly uh, what it did and what it takes to uh, take care of that problem and the type of machine we have is an Admiral wash machine it's made by um, Whirlpool and um, you know there are different models that carries this type setup on it uh, but you'd have to verify if you got that type uh, set up on yours but uh, I'll just show you on this particular one uh, what it takes to uh, get that fixed there alright so starting back here on the very back back here you're going to have a screw right here you got to take out and you got one on the other side here and uh, you got one right here take this little cover off and I go ahead and uh, get them taken out and what, what this is these are just little quarter inch uh, screws so, uh, let you know what size they are. Just take that little cover off. So it's only three screws you're removing here, and it's going to allow you to, uh, the top to slide back. All right. And what you do, you just take this here, pull this to the front, and then you just kind of lift up. And just tilt that back. Let me show you. Now, off in here, if you look down in here, you have these rods right here. You got four of them on each corner. You got a total four of them, one on each corner. And uh, that's where they hook on the top of it. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to take. Um, all four of them are loose. I'm just going to take uh, one of them are loose and show you exactly, uh, take it out and show you exactly uh, uh, what it is. But uh, these goes goes bad. They got springs, and I'll show you what they look like when I take them out. But uh, they got springs. They get weak, and it allows this tub to kind of, you can see all this is broken right back in here where it been hitting up against the back of it. So um, let me show you. Show you on this front here. All you gotta do just to get them undone, just lift up on that rod that comes off. That rod just drops straight down. And what you want to do is uh, just do, I just did two of them at a time. You don't want to do all four of them. This machine going to be tilted up. And you're going to have to uh, get up under it and take the rod out. And I'll show you how I do that. But uh, what I did, I just took, uh, say, both of the front ones right here loose first. And uh, since I didn't put the new ones in, I'm not going to take all four of them loose. I'm just going to show you just this one rod here. Because you can do all of them the same way. I did two at a time. And uh, so 
I'm going to go ahead and let this back down right here. And uh, what I'm going to do is just take his wash machine, just tilt it backwards and get up under it. And I'll show you what it looks like from underneath. All right, y'all, this is uh, up under the wash machine here. And this is uh, on one corner here, the one I'm taking loose. And you'll see this uh, spring right here. And what it does, it just drops down. And uh, you just take the spring completely out. And I'm going to take it out and show you. But this right in here, this is where it seats. So whenever you put that uh, back up in here, you're going to have this right here on all four corners of your tub. And uh, I'll just show you back here. There's that one on the right rear. And uh, let's see. There's one on the left front right there. You can't see how it's made. You can't see how it goes up to the very top hook up there. So uh, this one right here, I'm fixing to take it out. And I'll show y'all what it looks like. Alright y'all, uh, this is my new one I just took out and showing y'all. And this is the old one here. And uh, you just kind of compare them. They look real similar. Uh, my new one doesn't have this. Um, this is the original Whirlpool, what they came out with it. But um, I went ahead and the original cost about $70 where I paid like $40 this set and they got them as cheap as $25 but uh, I just went in the middle of the line I'm not sure how long it'll last um, the original lasts probably about five years before it started getting us trouble and um, like I say this the, I know the Roper um, Admiral Whirlpool uh, probably some more brands uh, you're going to have the same design but uh, I just want to show you right here it comes with these uh, new uh, little cups and bushings right here. And that's what the original looked like. So the ones I got a little bit different looking. All you do, you just pop this little uh, cup out. I'm not really sure what they call a cup or a little bushing. But it's like little ears on it right here. And all you do is just take it, snap it down in there. It just locks in place. And uh, I'll show y'all. Uh, I'll go down here right now and go and put it back in there and I'll show you how it goes back together there alright y'all uh, fixing to put the rod back in there and all you're going to do let's see, let's get this in here. see right up in here this is where you're going to push, push that rod right up through there through that hole there what you do is just hook it across the top that way whenever you let it let go of it it'll hold up in there so I just hooked it right up in that top on that uh, plastic up there now I'm fixing to go back up to the top Alright y'all, we're back here on top, and uh, here's my rod right here, I just looped around this plastic right here, and all you're going to do is just take that tub, push it out of the way, get a grip on that rod, and uh, you can have somebody also to help you pull up on this, if you have trouble picking up on this rod by itself, but uh, all you do is take that rod, pick it up, slip that bushing on there, and I just twist around like this, the original bushings, they set flush in there, but the kit that I got, um, they got like an offset to it. And I just put the, uh, uh, where they're more flush to the front, and then on the back back here, they're uh, more flush to the back side. But your kit may be different. It may sit in there flush, but that's just how I didn't mind. And then on here, you got these uh, hooks right here that uh, hold your uh, top on. These little clips right here. Let me show you how you do that. Whenever you get your top rig, put it back on. Just slide it to the front. Get everything lined up there. Then push it back and it locks it in. Then you'll be ready to put your three screws back on. And uh, go ahead and put your grain hose back in. And um, 
plug it up. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, just make sure you unplug your washing machine before you do any kind of work on it. And um, that, that's it, you know, it's real quick. It maybe takes 30, 40 minutes uh, to do this. And like I say, it did fix our problem. So uh, it's just these uh, suspension, I guess you call them suspension rods and springs. Um, that's all it is, you place four of them. And uh, the kit that I bought was like $40. And I'll leave you the part number for it. And um, I think the Whirlpool uh, part number, uh, the kit and everything, I think it's about 70 bucks, something like that. But I, I seen them as cheap as $25. I just kind of got the middle road one, uh, saved some money there. I'm not sure if it lasts long. This, uh, let me see, it lasts about five years probably before it started getting us trouble. So, but anyway, uh, Hope this video helps y'all. Y'all have that problem with shaking and vibrating on a spin cycle. Like I say, it's for Admiral and uh, Whirlpool and Roper and probably some more different uh, brand washers. All of them made the Whirlpool. That's just the design. Keeps that tough and vibrating and stuff like that. That spring stuff, so I guess, it kind of wears out. But anyway, uh, I'll leave that uh, part number down there in the description. And uh, if y'all have any comments, any questions, uh, Feel free to ask me. You no, know, I try to help you out any way I can. Um, like I say, I didn't go through the whole process doing all four of them, but I just show you the, the, the one, and then the rest of them going to be the same way. And uh, and if, you know, if this video helps you out, you know, if you would, I appreciate if you uh, give me a like on it, and uh, if you uh, like like what you see and like what our channel is about, we've got a lot of different videos. Um, just uh, subscribe to our channel for the latest um, updated videos we put out. And uh, as always, for my family's yours, y'all have a blessed day, friends. See y'all later. Bye-bye.